Are you scared of GPT-4 or GPT-4 plus models? A lot of people, especially eminent scientists, entrepreneurs, including Elon Musk, has signed an open letter that requests pausing AI training experiments that are larger than GPT-4. Now, is this right? Is this what we should do as a society? This is something that I would like to explore in this video. First, I'll start with the details of this letter and a couple of names, big names that have signed this letter. And what do I think about it? My personal opinion, that is what this video is about. If you already know about this entire thing, you don't have to watch this video. You probably have enough context. I'm not going to share anything new. But if you do not know, there is a new open letter on the internet that says pause giant AI experiments an open letter. What is this letter about? We call on all AI labs to immediately pause for at least six months the training of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4. 1280 people have signed this letter at this point and couple of interesting names on this letter. Of course, we have Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, Tesla and Twitter. We have Joshua Bengio, the author of Sapiens, Steve Wozniak and uh, also interestingly, Imad Mustaq, who is the CEO of Stability AI. So we have got a lot of interesting names here, a couple of names from DeepMind. You can see there are people from DeepMind, which is which is exactly what Google was trying to do, like what Microsoft has been doing with OpenAI, their own AI research lab. So what is this entire thing about? Like, why are they asking to pause, especially GPT-4 level training, AI training? Um, and it's an open letter to everybody. It's not aimed at OpenAI alone. It's an open letter to any AI lab that is going to train a large language model, GPT-4 level. Now, the reason what they are saying is that AI systems with human competitive intelligence can pose profound risks to society and humanity as shown by extensive research and also being acknowledged by AI labs. That's what they are saying. So what their point is that we are growing so fast that it might also threaten humanity, threaten our society, threaten certain uh, pillars of our society, like how our society is built. So powerful AI system should be developed only once we are confident that their effects will be positive and their risks will be manageable. So their point is that we should develop powerful AI systems only when we know that we can manage that system, that AI system, and it is going to benefit humanity. Now, while they have mentioned all these things, what they're saying is that we should pause it at least for six months. Now, my first thought is, how are we sure that in six months we will know or we would have figured out how to manage this AI system or how to improve humanity in such a way that it is not going to pose a risk? I have no clue and I don't think um, it actually gives enough information about what is going to happen in that six month time period. But they have also mentioned another interesting thing. They've said humanity can enjoy flourishing future with AI. Having succeeded in creating powerful AI systems, we can now enjoy an AI summer, which is like quite opposite of AI winter, in which we reap the rewards, engineer these systems for clear benefit of all and give society a chance to adapt. How is it going to happen in six months? No clue at all. Society has hit pause on other technologies with potentially catastrophic effects on society. We can do so here. Let's enjoy a long AI summer, not rush unprepared into a fall. Now, they have said that there are other technologies with potentially catastrophic effects on the society has paused in the past. Now, when you go references and then see, they're actually talking about examples, including human cloning, human germline modification, gain of function research and eugenics. Now, these all these th examples that they've mentioned are very specific. It's, it's, a, it's about a very specific topic. I'm still trying to comprehend how this is all related to AI. Don't get me wrong, I, I have been a critic of OpenAI, them not being open. But when you look at this, when you look at this particular letter and uh, the kind of things that they are saying that we should probably do while six months is something that we need to pause, there is no actual plan like what's going to happen in six months. There are some information. They've said AI developers must work with policymakers to dramatically accelerate the development of robust AI government governance system watermarking, all these things. Now, what I do not understand from this entire letter is first, but while pausing it for six months, how are we going to make sure that the risk of AI is going to be minimized? Point one. 
Second thing is that they've mentioned very clearly that all the AI labs should make it very open and transparent how they are pausing these experiments. Now, even though Imad, who is uh, who is a strong propellant of open source, who, you know, like stability AI basically came out from nowhere, stable diffusion, just beat entire thing out of open AI's DALI system. While Imad also has signed this thing, but still I would like to highlight that while this is talking about all AI labs, you don't know what is happening with AI labs. That's one of the points a lot of people have been trying to bring up that while this might be applicable for US based AI labs, what's going to happen in China AI labs? What's going to happen in Russia AI labs? I'm not an American. I don't have to actually speak on behalf of the US government or US AI researchers. But what I feel is that while this letter genuinely might have, you know, addressed some concerns around the growth of models like GPT-4, especially when we land in the multimodal world, I cannot stop thinking that this probably also looks like, you know, people trying to catch up with the speed of open AI. Like while it talks about pause everything for six months, it also makes me feel that is this the time that everybody is trying to take to catch up with what OpenAI has already managed to do or what OpenAI might be doing in another six months. I do not know. It is again a speculation, but you can see that there are a lot of people have like brilliant people, like more intelligent than me has signed this letter. Um, if you want to sign in, you can add this name, but I think right now they have said the signatories list has been paused due to high demand. But if you want to sign, you can add your details and sign everything. I'm not going to sign this letter. I honestly do not think that um, by pausing this, uh, you are going to make something easier for others. Uh, I, I don't think like we are living in such a fair world where if somebody says I'm going to pause the AI experiments, everybody's going to pause one. And the second thing is um, I would uh, strongly advise, like if I were to do it, I would advise OpenAI to be more transparent and more open about what they're doing because they've got, because they've got the name open in it. But otherwise, I'm not sure how much of an obligation that they have got to share with the entire world what they have figured out. But I've been always a critic of OpenAI, how they are not open despite being named OpenAI, despite being themselves calling that they are going to make AGI safety. So like despite all these things, they are not very open. That has been a criticism from me quite often. But is the right solution to like advance humanity or to make humanity safe is to pause AI experiments. I do not, I do not honestly feel that that is the right way to go about it. But this is again, my opinion, like a lot of brilliant people have already signed this letter who probably knows more than me, but you let me know, like, what do you think about this thing is, uh, is pausing giant AI experiments, the right way to do it. Um, while I do not have an answer, I don't think that this is the right solution and I'm not sure what is the intention. Like, is, is there a commercial intention behind such letter? where people are scared that OpenAI is making so much advancement that others cannot catch up. Honestly, no idea, but I just wanted to bring this letter to your notice and then say that a lot of brilliant people have signed this letter, but what I think about this letter, is this the right approach? I hope this video helped you in understanding something that is happening about AI experimentation pausing. Let me know your thoughts. See you in another video. Happy prompting.